Hi everyone, I'm Haley. I watched a video on this channel and there was this girl who was saying my parents loved my little sister more than me and complaining about how they were treating her sister better. I was really moved by that girl's story because I'm going through something similar. But in our house, it's only my mother who discriminates between her children. My dad would never do such a thing. The object of my mother's affection, the one she loves the most, is my brother, Aiden. Please don't get me wrong. I don't think it's my brother's fault. It's all about my mom. I don't know why, but she is very tolerant and loving towards Aiden. But when it comes to me, she bosses me around and criticizes me all the time. For my mom, my brother is always the priority. I, on the other hand, come after him. For example, what you see is my brother's old phone. This is what I'm using right now. I'm almost finishing high school, but my parents still haven't bought me a new phone. They would always give me one of their old ones. Last month, they bought Aiden a brand new phone as a present, and I got his old one instead. Even though he's five years younger than me, I'm the one getting hand-me-downs. It's supposed to happen the other way around, so I guess that makes me an exception. As I said at the beginning, my dad really loves both my brother and me. He doesn't treat us differently. But he works a lot and doesn't have too much free time. So my mother is the one who ends up shopping for all our gifts. Now I'm going to list all the gifts that my mom recently got for my brother and me. So you can better understand what I'm dealing with here. One, a laptop for my brother. A karaoke mic for me. Yes, a karaoke mic. When I asked her, why did you get me this? My mother said, you're always singing to yourself in your room. That's why I thought you'd like it. Two, an awesome bike for Aiden. A book about Albert Einstein for me. My mother's explanation for this one is that I love reading. Yes, I do love reading, but don't you think it's unfair that my brother is getting a bike and I'm getting a book? And finally, the most expensive smartphone for my brother and a cinnamon scented candle for me. I repeat, a smartphone for my brother, a candle for me. I was shocked when we opened our presents. My face was flushed with anger when I said, Mom, what the heck? My mother pretended she was really surprised and said angrily, Haley, you love cinnamon. Your room will smell delicious. Oh, this is too much. You're not happy with anything. I can't say anything, even though I'm being treated so unfairly all the time. Why? Because my mother thinks she can walk all over me just because she's my mother. She shuts me up every time without even listening to what I'm saying. She never lets me answer her. She's always right because she's the mother. She's smarter than everyone because she's the mother. Only she knows what's right because she's the mother. I can give you a thousand examples of how she treats us differently. For example, she thinks Aiden is talented in every possible way and of course supports him all the time. My brother watches a couple of chess videos on YouTube, so my mom goes out and buys him a nice chess set. Or he sees his friend playing guitar and wants one too, so she buys him one right away. <laughs> what happens every time is that Aiden forgets about them after a few days and moves on to something else. And still my mother keeps buying him more and more stuff. However, when it comes to me, she does the complete opposite. Ever since I was little, I loved drawing. I think I'm pretty good at it too. For a while, I was interested in oil painting. I was watching oil painting tutorials on YouTube all day long, one after the other. Even though I kept asking my mother to get me art supplies, she never did. So I saved up my allowance and ordered them online. When the materials arrived, I immediately started experimenting on the canvas. When my mother came into my room, she saw the tubes of oil paint, the brushes, and the canvas. She laughed and said, Don't you think all this is a little too much for someone who can only draw stick figures? <laughs> Okay, I realize I may not be free to Kahlo, but don't you agree that it's simply wrong for a mother to say such things to her daughter? She's been treating me like this for so long that I was wondering if all mothers are like this, and I'm just exaggerating. But my friends have pretty normal relationships with their mothers. They get along really well. Some of them are even friends with their mothers. My mother, on the other hand, criticizes me all the time. My hobbies, my clothes, the shows I watch, the way I eat. She always criticizes everything I do, and I mean everything. She's watching me all the time. It's as if she's going out of her way to find something wrong with me. You know what the worst part is? I think the real reason why my mother behaves this way is gender discrimination. 
That means she doesn't love my brother more because he's younger, but because he's a boy. I can give you many examples of this too. For example, even though I really want to go to college, my parents are not planning to send me to one. But even though my brother is only 12, we already know what he's going to study in college, chemical engineering. But do you know why? Because my dad owns a company that produces plastic kitchenware. My mother wants Aiden to study chemical engineering so that he can manage the business in the future. So you see, my mother is grooming my brother to take over the family business down the line. And she doesn't think I could do it. It's easy to see why. Because my mother thinks a factory can only be run by a man, and that is my brother, Aiden. I know very well that the real reason is gender discrimination, but my mother doesn't accept it. Once, when we were talking about college, she said, Honey, unfortunately, I'm not sure you would do well in college. I asked, Mom, why do you think that? As if she didn't want to upset me, she said, You know why. What do you mean? I insisted. And she replied, did you forget about the test? I was so shocked when I heard that. When I was 13 and Aiden was eight, my aunt, who's a psychologist, gave us an IQ test. It was a simple test made for kids. It wasn't something to be taken seriously, in my opinion. The test result said my IQ was 105 and my brother's 115. According to my aunt, getting 90 to 110 points indicates average intelligence, whereas 110 to 120 points indicates above average intelligence. Based on this simple test, my mother concluded that I wouldn't do well in college. According to her, only my brother could go to college because he has above normal intelligence. That means that if for some reason I'd gotten anything less than 90, my mother would have thought I was stupid. I got really mad at my mother after what she said about the IQ test. And unfortunately, I did something I would later regret, something that was out of character for me. This is the first time I'm admitting this. I went to the bathroom and thought about my mother saying, you won't be able to go to college because you're not as smart as your brother. It really hurt me that she could think this way. I started crying. As I was looking in the mirror, I suddenly noticed my mother's toothbrush. So I grabbed it and dipped it into the toilet bowl. I thought I was punishing my mother. It was something I never should have done, and I would undo it now if I could. My mother probably brushed her teeth with that toothbrush that night. After I went to bed, I deeply regretted what I'd done. I got up, went to the bathroom, and washed her toothbrush for a long time. Unlike my mother, my grandmother loves Aiden and me equally. For our birthdays, she buys us the same presents. When she gives us money, she lets us know that we're both receiving the same amount. I wish my mother were more like her own mother. This one time, my grandmother, my mother, and I went shopping. We were supposed to get dresses for my cousin's wedding. We went into a store to look for a dress for me. I picked three dresses to try on. After putting on each dress, I went out to show them to my mother and grandmother to see what they thought. While my grandmother was making comments, my mother did not say a word. When I put on the last dress, I said, Mom, you didn't say anything. Do you know what she told me? Haley, unfortunately, no dress ever looks good on you. But don't be upset, it's not your fault. You got your dad's jeans when it comes to your looks. No one on your father's side looks good, no matter what they're wearing. Your brother, on the other hand, got his jeans from me. He looks so good in everything, so it's easy to shop for him. I think we should accept this as a fact and not spend any more time shopping for you. Yes, that's exactly what my mother said. Naturally, both my grandmother and I were shocked. Trying to hide her anger, my grandmother said, Why are you being so mean? Haley is a very pretty young girl. She looks good in whatever she's wearing. There must be something wrong with your eyes. Then she turned to me and said, My dear Haley, all three dresses looked so good on you. We're getting them all. I'm going to the register to pay. You can decide later which one to wear to the wedding. Because I'd gotten used to my mother's behavior, I didn't get too upset that day, but my grandmother was furious with her. Friends, it feels really good to tell you all about this. Thank you so much for listening to my story. It's definitely not fair for parents to favor one kid over another. I'm sure some of you are dealing with a similar situation. If you write about your experience, you'll let it out and feel much better. I'll be waiting for your comments. See you.